Hi guys. All right, today I'm gonna to show you a cool project that is nice for Easter and ends up looking a little bit like this. This one's not done. The third egg is not colored. This one's done with oil pastels, but you can do it with crayon. And so I'm gonna show you how you do this. Uh, fourth graders, you did this last year, I think. And, uh, but third graders, you haven't seen this before, so this is new for you, but it's a cool thing to do for you know, Easter time if you celebrate Easter or just for spring and um, has a little bit to do with birds. So what you do first is you need to cut yourself a stencil of an egg. So you draw an egg on some sort of cardboard, some sort of hard stock, and then cut it out. Okay, And you could even use this part as the stencil or you can use this, whatever's easier. You need a piece of paper. And then I suggest just doing three eggs to start with, um, but you can you can do more if you want to, but I would start with three. All right. And if you notice on here, the egg in the front is set lower than the eggs in the back. That's what makes them look like they're further back. The further back the eggs are, the higher up they're going to go. Okay, so that you make your first egg first. Make the one that's in the front first. It doesn't have to be in the center. And then you, and it doesn't even have to be straight up and down. It could be tilted a little bit. And you trace around your egg. Okay, so you have one egg. Then the next eggs have to be higher than that egg. Maybe not super, super high, but they're going to be a little bit behind. Not over here just a little bit behind and over a little bit. So you go up and over just a little bit and you only trace the part that you would see. And then maybe make one on the other side. You make this one this way. So make sure it's higher than this front egg and pull around just the part that you would see because you wouldn't see this part, right? And then you end up with this, right? Doesn't have to be in the center. I could have had just three eggs and the, the last one behind this one, but I didn't. Then you need a, a light and a, and a dark version of the same color. Or if the color itself is light, like pink or yellow, then you can use white with pink or yellow. And you have to imagine that the light is shining at the front of the egg. So where the, where the darker part would be is going to be where the light can't, can't get to. So it's darker around here, kind of like in a smile shape and it's very light and bright in the front and on the top. Okay? The last thing you'll do is the shadow on the bottom. So I'm going to show you how to shade one. I'm just going to use, uh, I'm going to use, I'll do a, a pink one so you can see that like you would use dark green and light green could go together or dark blue and light blue. But I'm going to make a pink egg and I'll use white with pink because we're, or I could have done a red egg and used pink. This way. Okay. So you have to think about which would be the, the lighter, the darker color and do the darker color first and go around the, in kind of a smile shape. When you get to the edge of your egg, you want to go super slow and find the edge of your oil pastel because eggs are smooth, not fuzzy. So if you go too fast, it's just going to be fuzzy. Okay. And you go around like this, make kind of a smile shape. And don't put that oil pastel away because you're going to pick it up again. Take your white, which might be dirty. It's okay. Still works. Press really hard and go down the middle of your egg and up to the top. Okay. And you're pressing really hard. Then I'm going to take my pink and I'm going to overlap that way. Like this. Go around the egg. up my white again. I'm going to keep going back and forth, mixing them. Because remember the oil pastels are like paint sticks. It's oil paint on a stick. Okay. I'm going to tear my paper down a little bit. Can't get to it. Okay. Go a little bit more with the white and mix it in. But I'm keeping that really super center part super white. Not really blending there. Then go around one more time around my edge, maybe add a little bit more pink, okay, and some white again, and I end up with 
you end up with all these little shavings that you have to get rid of. Okay, and I kind of stuff this teeny bit there, but then you have your egg like that. The last part is black. Um, I'm just going to use a crayon. Okay, black shadow, which wouldn't be in the very front of very much. It would be a teeny bit in the front, but more of a, uh, a blurry shadow that would come off either side like that. Then it looks like the eggs sit in there. Okay, so the, again, if I'm going to do a green one, take my dark green, go really slow on the edge so that it's smooth. Okay, don't want to mix it with my pink. I can only see this side, so this is like a half a smile. And then take my light green, go in the middle, and all the way at the top. Pressing really hard, so when I the, the time when I slow down is when I get to an edge because I don't want to go and make it fuzzy looking. Okay, and then I need I think a little bit of dark over here. And I'm ready to blend. So I take my green and I start blending my greens together where they overlap. Part of that one is the shadow. So I'm going to see a little shadow coming off this side, like that. I don't see the other side of it. Those are my two eggs. And then I can make a third one, another color. You could challenge yourself and make some sort of stripes, and the stripes are different colors that go from light to dark. That'd be tricky. Or one big egg that you do like that might be really cool. Um, when you're all through, when you're all through, not like this one, but all three done, or one big one, all the ones that you stenciled done, then you pick where you want your name to go. And remember, your name doesn't go big and fat across the top. Your name goes nice and small down here. And pencil. And then you have something you can hang up for spring, make somebody happy. Okay? Good luck.